Hi, STEM students. My name is Miss Asher, and I've got a really cool activity for us to do together today. We are going to be thinking about what we might be like in the future. And so we're going to be writing a letter to ourselves in the future. And it's a really good opportunity to think about what you might want to be like next school year, or even uh, what your hopes and dreams are for the future. So you want to take some time to really be thoughtful and creative during this exercise. Um, and you're going to use the format that's on this page of your writing journal to help you to write your letter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn to this page in my writing journal um, and I'm going to take you through my thought process of how I wrote this letter for myself. Um, and hopefully that will give you some ideas about how to write your own letter to your future self. So on this page in your activity, uh, in your writing journal, it says, letter to your future self. Dear future self, I hope you blank. So I'm gonna think about what is something that I hope for myself in the future. You could say, I hope you're having a good day, or I hope that you're making lots of friends, or I hope that you're happy. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna say, I hope you're having fun. And so then our next line says, but whatever you do, don't blank. And so this one might be a little bit trickier, but what you're gonna do is you're going to think about what's something that maybe you, uh, you do now that gets you into trouble that you know you shouldn't do, uh, but that you have a hard time not doing, so you wanna remind yourself not to do that thing. So you could say something like, but whatever you do, don't uh, eat so much candy that you get a tummy ache or Whatever you do, don't uh, talk so much to your friends in class that you get in trouble. Uh, what I'm gonna say, because uh, right now I'm thinking about school, which a lot of you guys probably are too, so I'm about to start a uh, master's program, which is more college after college. So I'm thinking about school right now, so I'm gonna say whatever you do, don't have so much fun that you forget about your schoolwork because that's really gonna be important to me when I start my, uh, my new college program. So can you think of something that you need to warn yourself not to do that thing? So the next line is gonna be kind of similar. You're gonna warn yourself to be careful of something. So it says, and be careful of blank. So can you think about something you might wanna be careful of uh, in the future? Like you might say, and be careful of uh, being disrespectful to your parents, or be careful of forgetting to turn in your homework, or uh, be careful of leaving the fence open and then your dog gets outside, uh, outside of the fence. So can you think about something you need to warn yourself to be careful about? So I'm just gonna say, be careful of due dates sneaking up on you, because when you're in school, you have things that are due and you gotta make sure to turn them in on time. So can you think of something that you need to be careful of and remind yourself to, to be careful of that thing? Okay, so next it says, stick close to blank. So can you think about something that would be good for you to stick close to that in the future? You could say, uh, you could say stick close to your parents when you're in a crowded place or stick close to your friend when you guys are in school or, uh, you know, stick close to the sidewalk when you're when you're walking so you, you don't get uh, in the way of a car. So I'm gonna say stick close to the front of the classroom and ask questions when you have them. So that's good for me because I feel like I can focus the best when I stick close to the front of the classroom. So next it says, if you keep doing one thing you do now, it should be blank. So think about something you do now that is good for you and that you, uh, you think you should keep doing in the future. So it could be that you should keep waking up early so that you have lots of uh, time in the mornings before you go to school or keep on um, brushing your teeth every morning, that's important. <laughs> so I'm gonna say if you keep doing one thing you should do now, it should be to try to get outside every day uh, because the sunshine and fresh air are good for you. And so for me personally, I know that I like to get outside every day, so I'm telling myself to keep doing that because I know that it makes me happy. So the next line says, and don't care too much about blank. 
So think about something that maybe uh, you tend to get worried about that you shouldn't get that worried about, um, something that might bother you and you want to remind yourself to just let it go and not worry too much about it. So you could say, uh, you know, don't care too much about, uh, you know, what other people are doing or don't care too much about uh, other people's problems. I'm gonna say, don't care too much about what other people are thinking of you. Because the truth is, a lot of times people are worried the same thing. They're worried about what everybody else is thinking about them, and really, nobody's that focused on you, and uh, nobody's looking out for your mistakes as much as you are. <laughs> so, uh, the next line says, I wonder if you care more about blank than I do. So you can think about something that you don't really care that much about now, but you're wondering if maybe in the future you might care more about that. So you could say, uh, I wonder if you care more about sports than I do, or I wonder if you care more about uh, politics than I do, or I, I'm going to say, I wonder if you care more about cooking than I do, because right now I don't like to cook that much, but I'm thinking maybe in the future I will get more into cooking. So the next line says, I bet your favorite class is blank. So for me, this one was easy because I think my favorite class in the future will probably be the same as my favorite class now. Um, and that's art class because I really like to make art and to draw and uh, do all sorts of different painting and that sort of thing. So that one should be easy because your favorite class in the future probably going to be the same as your favorite class now. Although who knows, it could change. Um, but can you think about what your favorite class might be in the future? So once you do that, I remember I said, I bet my favorite, or your favorite class is art class. Um, and so then the next line says, when someone makes fun of you, your best defense is blank. So this one you might need to think a little bit more on uh, as to what you would do if someone was making fun of you, how you might handle that. So there are a couple different things you could do. Uh, and it really depends on, on what you personally think is best for you. Uh, you could say your best defense is to tell an adult or to uh, just ignore them or um, to let your teacher know what's going on or to tell them they're hurting your feelings. Um, for me, I'm going to say that when someone makes fun of you, your best defense is to ignore them because usually if you uh, don't react, they'll get bored and they'll stop. So I think for me that was good advice, um, but you can write your own advice as to what you think your best defense is if someone was making fun of you. Um, and then the next one is make friends with kids who blank. And so you could say make friends with kids that have similar interests as you, or make friends with kids that are funny, or uh, make friends with kids that like to play sports, or uh, what I said is make friends with kids who are kind and appreciate you for who you are. Um, and I thought that was good advice uh, when making friends with anybody. And so the next one it says, and most importantly of all, blank. And so this is, you want to take another minute to really think about what is the most important piece of advice you want to give yourself. Um, and it might be, you know, to always be positive and uh, to try to look on the bright side of things or always remember that it's okay to make mistakes. Um, for me, what I said is most importantly of all, always be yourself. Um, and I thought that was good advice because you can never go wrong being yourself. Um, and so then it says, sincerely, your humble grad school self, Miss Asher. And uh, so yeah, that was the process of writing my letter. And now I'm going to read the whole thing to you guys, uh, now that I've put it all together. Um, and so you can sort of get a sense of how it flows when you read it, the whole thing. So it says, dear future self, I hope you are having fun. But whatever you do, don't have so much fun that you forget about your schoolwork and responsibilities. And be careful of due dates sneaking up on you. Stick close to the front of the classroom and ask questions when you have them. If you keep doing one thing you do now, it should be to try to get outside every day. Sunshine and fresh air are good for you. 
and don't care too much about what others are thinking of you. I wonder if you care more about cooking than I do. I bet your favorite class is art class. When someone makes fun of you, your best defense is to ignore them. Usually they'll get bored if you act like you don't care. Make friends with people who are kind and appreciate you for who you are. And most importantly of all, always remember to be yourself. Sincerely, your humble graduate school self, Miss Asher. And so that was my letter, and I really enjoyed writing that. I think I'm definitely going to keep this uh, so that I can read it in the future when I need some good advice. Um, and I hope that this gave you guys some good ideas uh, about how to write your own letter to your future self. And uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope that you join me again for another video soon. Bye, guys. Have a good day.